equity or, or, uh, or the environmental side, right? the renewables is what everybody is pitching for today. Uh, if you look at it, if you invest as a manufacturer, if you come to Tamil Nadu, you will probably be the greenest, uh, you will be doing, you will be the greenest state. Uh, you will be, uh, your manufacturing will be the greenest possible in India because of the initiative that the founder of the chief minister has already taken and what, how the state has already been built. We do have the best infra, uh, we have the best skilled labor that's available, uh, we do have uh, established um, industries like um, the automobile industry, we are the biggest manufacturers in India, as the officers also said. 35% of the EV manufacturing in India happens in Tamil Nadu now. We are com uh, concentrating on the components side also. Uh, everything that's uh, new, uh, everything that's industry 4.0, that everything that's EV, uh, we want to make this uh, 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 state the EV capital of Tamil uh, Nadu, of India in the very near future, and we are uh, doing uh, the right job uh, right now, I'm, I'm sure. TN, as I said, uh, is very strategically placed on the HTC world for, uh, for investors from the East uh, Europe, especially in Singapore also. Um, the green energy, which that, uh, uh, the Honorable Minister, uh, the Regional Honorable also was uh, on to during our prior discussions, is uh, something very close to our uh, Chief Minister. It is very close to our department. We are very, very keen in bringing in industries which will uh, with sustainability at the back of our mind. Uh, that will be key for any industry to step into Tamil Nadu. Uh, we do have a, a brilliant uh, renewable setup already. We, we will be the biggest number of uh, renewable energy, highest number of renewable energy in India. As he said, repurposing, establishing, established infra is also on the cards. So I, I think in by many measures, um, Tamil Nadu is already on the forefront. We are the first port of call for any investor that walks into uh, India for the obvious reasons. I'll tell you one thing that will actually uh, strike the right call with any investor. What is an investor see? What does he require? He needs um, a proper, good, stable government, uh, good labor, skilled labor, skilled labor which is in tune with the necessity, with the requirements of the industry. The Chief Minister has a beautiful scheme for non um, which actually enables all us, school going, college going children, to stay in tune with the industry requirements and they stay abreast with the technological growth that's coming up. So when you put up your industries in Tamil Nadu, you can rest assured that coming over the decades, you will find the right kind of skilled labor that you need and uh, the kind of uh, skilling uh, school of excellence that he's uh, envisioning to uh, put up in Tamil Nadu very soon. I'm uh, sure uh, with, with that kind of skilled labor available, any industry would definitely be happy to come into Tamil Nadu. I would like to close by I wouldn't want to take too much of the time. Our ACS has already explained the entire um, scenario to you extremely well. I'll just add by saying that I don't know, from coming from Delta, I have my own uh, uh, personal uh, reasons to uh, talk about agriculture. The Delta, the Delta region, the Delta region in uh, Tamil Nadu is the right call of uh, India. And our chief minister also asked us to concentrate more in the southern districts of uh, so we would be more interested in industries trying to go into the south of Tamil Nadu where there is extremely um, uh, skilled labor available, large parcels of land are available. I'm sure the, the, the industrial parks uh, down south will make more meaning uh, than anywhere else. Um, uh, if you feel we have sectoral views, we have EV manufacturing in one area, we have the leather manufacturing in one area, uh, we have mango crossing uh, uh, in one area. Our chief minister already announced thousand crore package for agro processing also. So I just complete by I just conclude by saying I do know Singapore has a 30 by 30 target and uh, I'm sure uh, the traditional novel also will accept that will agree that uh, India Tamil Nadu is, is a very will definitely be a very good partner to invest on in the agro processing uh, industry and uh, even for pure agri produce. Um, again fisheries as I say is also uh, put up uh, pointed out here is another region that we be extremely interested in. Um, I'm not just going to take away because I, the, tech, the tech and the latest tech has already been put forth to you. I'm pushing for the have-nots so uh, those who don't uh, get the limelight 
from here to which for them to uh, rightly so, uh, which for my, my chief minister. So the goal chain management uh, is also uh, high in my thoughts. Tamil Nadu has an annual growth of over 20.74% in the uh, GDP, over 11.04% of India's manufacturing GDP. So that's Tamil Nadu for you. Uh, we already have a great relationship. We have the best infra, best skilled labor, uh, and the best common to that. So I would be happy to uh, be of, um, at, at your call and uh, at service. Um, uh, I don't mind uh, if we work around the block and we have one of the best uh, admins uh, in the business. We have guidance and things which is doing an extremely good job. And uh, I'm sure we could connect and do. We take this uh, forward in a very, very profitable manner. And I hope both the government of Tamil Nadu and the investors will tell you. So welcome to Tamil Nadu. We'll make sure that.